What's happening, guys? Welcome into another boxing breakdown and prediction show for this weekend's WBC featherweight clash uh, between longtime champion Gary Russell Jr. as he takes on tough Filipino challenger Mark Magseo this weekend live on Showtime uh, over in Atlantic City. So let's get into it now. A time of recording, you know, odds are actually pretty varied on this fight. You know, a few books are showing minus three hundred on Gary Russell. Uh, you know, pretty large books as well. However, consensus seems to be closer to minus 400. So, you know, if you like the champion in this spot, definitely pays to shop around here. Uh, you know, no excuse to get a bad number in this fight. On the other side, Mixie was coming back anywhere between a plus 225, um, anywhere up to a plus 300. So again, you know, if you like the underdog in this spot, make sure and grab the best number available on him. Um, in terms of the fight itself, you know, this is a tough one to call. You know, on paper... Uh, if both guys were a hundred percent here, I'd probably have Russell. You know, especially at odds of minus three hundred, as uh, possibly one of the bets of the year so far. You know, very very gifted boxer. Uh, he's very cerebral in there. He's got a great lateral movement as well. I just think at his peak, you know, Russell's style would pose way too many problems for you know a fairly one dimensional Mexico in this one. Um, and look, he may well end up doing that anyway in this fight, but. You know, it's the intangible factors for me in this one that make it such an interesting fight here on Saturday. You know, Gary hasn't fought in almost two years now. He's 33 years of age as well, which, you know, isn't so much of a concern generally. But, you know, he did look vulnerable in spots in his last fight against King Tug um, back in early 2020. And in fairness, you know, that could likely be accredited more to how good, you know, King Tug Nyambar actually is rather than any slippage in Gary Russell. But, you know, that inactivity is nevertheless a concern for me here. Although, you know, inactivity is not new for Gary Russell Jr.'s career. Um, and he also said in a recent interview as well, he's bringing an injury into this fight. You know, whether that's mind games or not, we don't know. But there is a lot going on in the Russell camp right now in the lead up, in the lead up to this fight. Um, and the other major factor ahead of this one is, you know, tragedies outside the ring for Russell as well. You know, really, really tough personal events. Um, outside the ring for Russell leading up to this fight, you know, those would be difficult for pretty much anybody to take at the best of times, you know, never mind a guy about to step in front of a championship audience. So, you know, despite all of his obvious talent, uh, Gary Russell does bring some pretty heavy baggage into this fight, you know, and all of those factors uh, combined add up to less than ideal preparation here ahead of this one for him and Look, you know, Mike Seale's, you know, probably going to take advantage of that. Uh, in terms of the challenger, Mike Seale is an absolutely relentless fighter in there, you know, undefeated in 23 fights. Uh, he has an absolutely fantastic engine on him as well. You know, looked in all types of trouble back in August against Julio Sea. Uh, Sea are very heavy-handed himself. You know, he was walking down Mike Seale in there, absolutely, you know, withering shots of the body. Even put Mike Seale down at one point as well, but you know, Mixio kept coming forward himself and put on what was an absolutely devastating finish on Seha as well in the 10th round to close the show, you know, knocked him out cold. So, you know, no matter what way this fight ends up going on Saturday, you know, whether Gary Russell is able to outbox him or not, uh, you know, make no mistake, Mixio will be constantly in this fight throughout and will ensure Russell, you know, can't take any rounds off in there. Um, overall, you know, a part of me honestly wants to take Mixie with a hundred to one odds to win this fight in round one. Um, you know, now I know that's obviously a long shot, but one thing we know about Mixio is that he comes out of the gate hot, and with two years of inactivity on Russell's part as well, you know, there's always the potential he catches Russell cold here. I mean, the one thing Mixio definitely doesn't want to do in this fight is allow Gary Russell to establish a pattern in there because once he does. Uh, Russell is one of the most fluid fighters in the sport, you know, full stop. Mixio is going to have to jump on him early here, in my opinion, to gain maximum effect. Uh, you know, don't give Russell time to set up a pattern here, you know, time to find his groove. You know, kind of think Shane Mosley against Floyd Mayweather, uh, Jamel Chardo against Erickson Lubin, Carl Frock against Lucian Boutte, those type of fights. Um, you know, I mean, the list goes on where heavier handed guys put it on the technician from the opening bell. Um, you know, making them uncomfortable in there. And, and that's what Mixio is going to have to do in this fight as well. You know, he's the much, much bigger guy in there. Uh, and he needs to take advantage of that fact early in this fight. And look, um, I'm probably going to stick some pizza money on that outcome uh, outcome myself, you know, 100 to 1 fun bet. But, you know, I, never, I nevertheless do expect Russell, you know, for being as smart a fighter as he is, to see that approach coming from Mixio here. 
Uh, Gary Russell will win via a points decision is going off at a minus 110. I think that's absolutely fair enough. You know, if Russell is allowed to find his groove early here, establish that range, I think it's going to be very hard for McSeo to break that construct from that point of the fight on. Um, you know, Russell is very good at flowing in and out of range in fights once he gets a read in opponents. And, you know, once that pattern begins to set in this fight, uh, I just can't see McSeo getting to Gary Russell all that much from the outside as, you know, he'll likely be playing catch-up all night long uh, on the champion. I'm going to take Gary Russell in this one to win via decision at minus 110. If you do like more of a long shot, and let's face it, who doesn't? Uh, I, I'm going to take McSeo to win in round one at 100 to what odds. Uh, you know, huge odds there. I do expect, though, that if we get past that point in the fight, uh, Russell's outside fighting, you know, starts to take over in this one, you know, his ring craftsmanship and so on. And this fight likely makes it the full 12 rounds here. So those will be my two bets for this weekend between Gary Russell Jr. and Mark McSeer over on the Showtime card. That'll wrap things up for this episode. As always, leave us your thoughts in the comments section below. And you can also catch me over at Twitter at the Sports Wolf 83 and at my handicapper page, Kevin Dolan over at Wage Talk. As always, thanks for listening. Until next time, Slano, will you?